Hi everyone, we are asked to solve for x. Now, I want you to note this law of indices or exponent that states that a to the power of m minus n is equal to a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. So, using the division law, we can say that this is equal to 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 40. Now, if we cross multiply, if we cross multiply, this is seen as 40 divided by 1. So by cross multiplication, 4 to the power of x multiplied by 1 will give us 4 to the power of x is equal to 40 multiplied by 4 squared, right? Okay, now when you look at what we have on the board, you notice that we have what the power is still our variable. So we cannot solve it with any other thing apart from logarithm or ln, all right? Now, if we introduce log to both sides of the equation, we have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 40 multiplied by 4 squared, okay? Now, when you have log a to the power of b, it's equal to b multiplied by log a. And also, when you have log a multiplied by b, it's equal to log a plus log b. Yes. So that simply means that we can solve this or write this as x multiplied by log 4 is equal to log 40 plus log 4 squared is what? 16. Now, to get the value of x, we need to divide both sides of this equation by 4, by log 4, sorry. So if we divide by log 4, we're going to have this divided by log 4, this divided by log 4, this divided by log 4, okay? Now, you notice that log 4, we cancel log 4. So we have x is equal to log now, 40 is the same thing as 8 multiplied by 5, right? Divided by log 4. Plus, 16 is the same thing as 4 squared divided by log 4. Alright? If this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell, so that you don't miss amazing videos. We upload daily, so please tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you. Now, recall when I said that when you have log A, B, it's going to be log A plus log B. So we can actually write this as log A, plus log 5, okay, everything divided by log. Now, 4 is same thing as 2 squared, okay, plus we have log 4 squared divided by log 4, okay? All right, so this will give us x is equal to log 8 divided by log 2 squared plus log 5 divided by log 2 squared. I'm distributing the denominator, okay? Plus, now this will come down using the power rule to give us 2 log 4 divided by log 4. All right. Now, we can write that x is equal to 8 is the same thing as log 2 to the power of 3. Okay, divided by log 2 squared plus log 5 divided by log 2 squared plus 2 log. Okay, this we cancel this to give us 2. All right, now x is equal to this 3 will come down to become 3 log 2. This will come down to become 2 log 2. Plus, this will give us log 5 divided by 2 log 2 as well, plus 2, all right? Now, let's continue. I would like to continue from here, please. Now, we have x is equal to, 
So this we cancel this. We have three over two, three over two, plus. Now here we are going to have half log five over log two, right? Log five over log two plus two. So when you have log a over log b, it's equal to log a base b. Yes. So that means that we can write this as x is equal to 3 over 2 plus 2 over 1, all right, plus half log 5 base 2. Now you have x is equal to, the LCM here is 2. When 2 divides itself, we have 1. 1 times 3 is 3. When 1 divides 2, we have 2. 2 times 2 is 4, okay? Plus half log 5 base 2. Now, x is equal to 7 over 2 plus half log 5 base 2. Now, when you look closely, you can see that they share the same denominator, right? Since they share the same denominator, we can write this as x is equal to 7 plus log 5 base 2 divided by 2. They share the same denominator. Now, this is the value of x. The most interesting aspect of this video is here. Let's prove that the answer we got is correct. Okay, so permit me to clean everything. Everything except our x is going to stay. All right, now, x is equal to 7 plus log 5 base 2 divided by 2. So we have 4 to the power of 7 plus log 5 base 2 divided by 2. Okay. In then minus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, now I can clean this as well. <laughs> Are you enjoying this video? If yes, please give us a thumbs up and tell us what you feel about what you are doing in the comment section. Okay, thank you. Now, we have 2. If we are to solve this, we have 4 to the power of the LCM is what? LCM of this and this is what? 2. All right? Now, when 2 divide itself 1, 1 times 7 will give us, 1 times the whole of this will give us 7 plus log 5 base 2. Now, minus 1 divides 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, is equal to 14. So, we have 4 to the power of 7 minus 4 will give us 3. So, we have 3 plus log 5 base 2, everything divided by 2, is equal to 14. Now, remember that when you have a to the power of m plus n, that it is equal to a to the power of m uh, multiplied by a to the power of n. Yes, using the multiplication law. Therefore, we can write this as 4, or before that, 4 is same thing as 2 squared. I want to use these two to cancel this, okay? So, 2 squared to the power of 3 plus log 5 base 2 divided by 2, okay, is equal to 40. Now, these two, we cancel these two by multiplication, okay? So, we then have 2 to the power of 3 plus log 5 base 2 is equal to 40. So, let's apply the multiplication law here. So, it's going to be 2 to the power of 3, multiply by 2 to the power of log 5 base 2 is equal to 40. Now, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Now, what of this? There is a law that is going to help us here. A law of log reading that states that a to the power of log b base a is equal to b. a to the power of log b base a is equal to b. So that means that 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, multiplied by this and this, share the same base. So this is 5, is equal to 40. Now, 8 times 5 is 40, and 40 is equal to 40. So you can see that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching.